All right, now I'm so excited to speak to my next guest. Listen to this story. After receiving one million submissions from around the world, the AX Apollo Space Academy has revealed the final crew from around the world that launch into space. South African Mandla Maseko will represent South Africa in this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and has proven that he has what it takes to be an astronaut and the next generation of space explorers. Mandla Maseko is in studio with us to tell us about this adventure that he's about to go on. Mandla, welcome to Morning Live. Great to have you on the program. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. This must be an unbelievable time for you. I mean, does it still feel unreal that you've been chosen to do this? It hasn't really sunk in for me. You know, I still have to pinch myself every now and then just to find out that I'm still alive. You know? <laughs> yeah. This is actually happening. Yeah, and this isn't just a dream. Yes, ma'am. Because has it been a dream since you were very, very young? It, it has been a dream, but, you know, we were being restricted us you know, to think way past that stage, you know, like... When you, when you grew up, we wanted to be your policeman, you know, your nurse, you know, all these, you know. So we were not allowed to think past that stage up until I spoke to uh, one of the brand managers of X. And then he told me how huge this thing is. Then that's when it became a dream for me. You know, I mean, you, you talk about something like that. And I think that's so real because, you know, some kids don't think it is attainable. You know, you look at this and think... To be an astronaut, never. Yeah. This can't ever happen to me. But it is real. And yes. I mean, what does it take? Just t talk, talk us through your journey. What did it take for you to actually move in this direction? I'm a firm believer of the power of spoken words. I believe that anything you want, you can speak it to the universe. And it's the universe's duty to make sure that it, it delivers. doesn't matter how big or small it is. So that's my journey where it began, you know, I spoke it to the world, I dreamt, and now my dream has came true. It came true. Yes. All right, so uh, let's, let's talk about this competition because the competition received millions of submissions, yes, but only 23 people, including yourself, yes. have been uh, selected to be a part of this, this final crew. Um, what kind of training did you have to undergo? What, how did, what was the selection process? We went for the local space camp that was held in Free State Paris, uh, whereby we had to do 10,000 feet skydiving above Earth. Yeah. And while you were about 1,000 feet, you had to drop off two sandbags on a target that was laid on the Earth, you know. So I dropped off mine. Yeah. The closer you are to the target, the bigger points you get. Okay. So I, I nailed that. Immediately after, you got to do what we call the vomit comet. <laughs> it is <laughs> I'm scared to ask, what is that? <laughs> it is this big room whereby you stand up, up against the wall. Oh my gosh. And then it starts and it spins. spinning. Yes. It just spins. At some point, the floor disappears. <gasps> so G force, <coughs> will, it, it is the only, it, it, it's the G force that's pushing it you against you the wall. It makes you stick to the wall. Yes. Yeah. And then you have to like pick up five flags beneath your feet and then put them above your head. That was the second challenge. And then we were downsized to six. Okay. The top six had to do the plane stunt. So this plane goes up, do all these maneuvers and stunts and whatnot. Ten seconds after getting off the plane, you have to write a test. So imagine all that adrenaline rush running through your body. You have to calm yourself down and write a test. Wow. So I made it to the top three to represent South Africa. Yeah. And then once you got there, to and once we got where there, did you go, by the way? We left on the 1st of December. And you went to? Uh, Orlando, Florida. Okay, Florida. And USA. then what happened in Florida? Uh, we got to do a few challenges, the fighter flight jet, the, the flight simulation, you know, air combat. I got to fly a plane for like 10 to 20 minutes. So it was oh. an amazing feeling. Oh, what stood out the most is to see like an official rocket launch, you know. On Tuesday when we got there, there was a no rocket launch going to space. And oh it was, gosh. wow. Well, must have been, I mean, your stomach must have been you know, butterflies and feeling all excited to see that. An out-of-body experience. I'm sure. Yes, ma'am. And then the next time, you're going to be in that. I hope so. Oh, well, I hope Within so, Within the next two years. Okay, so you had this, 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 so you had a whole session in Florida as well. Yes, ma'am. It was just an event of uh, 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 challenges and whatnot. On Thursday, we had to write an aptitude test. Yeah. So... We were judged according to the BET, which was bravery, enthusiasm, and teamwork. That, that is what uh, Buzz Aldrin was looking for, you know, bravery, enthusiasm, and teamwork. Yeah. And then we went for graduation night on Thursday. 
and I can safely say I was the second person to be called out with, uh, on the 23 number of people oh, that were wow. called out. You and number two. Number two. Oh, Mandle, <laughs> this is the best story I've ever heard. You are going to be the first black South African to go into space. Wow. You know, this is massive. This is the biggest... Um, I think this is the biggest event that, that, that we are looking so forward to. When is it going to happen? The, space, the spacecraft uh, is still being constructed. Uh -huh. It's on its final stages. And as soon as it's the test has been done, and then I will be summoned to come back to USA. So within the next two years, 2014 and 2015, we will know. Well, when, yes. when this will be happening. Yes, and where is the destination, if I may ask? I mean, you're going to go out <laughs> of space, but are you going to go to a planet? Okay, no, um, uh, this time I'm going to space only. Okay, you just know, to space. I'm just going to space. You'll visit a planet on another there, time. You know, <laughs> looking outside the window and see the Earth with this big round ball, which is blue and white, and then come back. Oh, so, this is amazing. Yeah. And when you were a kid, where did you grow up? I was born and raised in Soshanguve okay. in Mavopane. Yeah. So I can safely say I'm a Pretorian to the core. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I mean, did you ever, in your wildest dreams, I know I mean, it's a silly question because yes, nobody in their wildest dreams believed this would happen, yes. but, you know, from where you were to where you are, I mean, how did this happen? You know, when parents say uh, great things are coming your way, you know, you are destined for greater things. Yeah. And you'd be like, ah, you're my parents. You're supposed to say that, you know. Yeah. And once it hits you, that's when you realize, oh, do parents do know you. So they actually, they, yeah, parents yeah, do know I, a thing or two. Hey? I did feel it b within me, but then I wasn't like really keen on it yeah. up until this opportunity presented itself. Yeah. You know. So what, what are you doing now, just as a matter of interest? Uh, now um, I've been home, yeah. you know, uh, enjoying this early birthday, early Christmas gift yeah and this is a christmas birthday <laughs> easter you name it this gift is early f for every every occasion <laughs> yes ma'am and i was a part-time dj with my dad yeah and also i was a part-time student but then due to the fact that i had no funding i couldn't finish my studies yeah so i'm waiting for next year to go back to school and study and hopefully i hope this opportunity will bring me sponsors so that i can sponsor other two kids to go to, to, to varsity next year. Okay. So yeah. That's and fantastic. Also give back to my community. So you've actually got no experience in aviation? None whatsoever. Absolutely nothing? None whatsoever. This is the most incredible story. So you are going to be fully trained by yes, the end yes. of this and uh, be taken under the wing of, uh, under the wing of X, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Uh, okay. X Apollo Space Academy. Okay. Which is under the SXC, which is Space Expedition Corporation. That's amazing. Yes, ma'am. Oh, this is such a brilliant story. I wish you <laughs> the best of luck. I want a step-by-step -step journey with you. Definitely. Okay, you've got to let us know how this goes, uh, when this happens, and uh, we, we're just so excited for you. We wish you all the best, and we're so proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thank you. For Mandla me. Maseko, you remember this man's face, because he is going to be the first black man from South Africa to go out of space. What do I mean? What do I mean, South Africa? Is it not Africa? It's South Africa and Africa. And Africa. I'm saying South Africa, but I mean, I think this is Africa. It is. A, it this is, is unbelievable. You, you're setting boundaries, my friend. You are doing great things. You keep it up, Thank Mandla. You. We're going to watch you very, very, very closely as much as we can. So Mandla Maseko, uh, he is either going to go next year or the year after, depending on when the space mission is ready, and they're going to be going out there. That's a. Uh, Buzz, Buzz Aldrin, there's Buzz the Aldrin. one of the first people who went to the moon. Look at him. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can call him sir. It's okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank well done. Congratulations much. to you.